Hello. There we go. Hello. Nice there we go. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to actual play for really reals this time. We're playing Specters of Brocken, and uh, we're about to do some violence onto one another. I believe <laughs> is that is that right, Aaron? Is that yeah? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. We're getting into some blood in a bit. Awesome. What do we uh, do cool. to do that? So, um, one sec. All right, uh, we need to. We'll just uh, introduce, uh, reintroduce our characters ten years later. What they've been up to, uh, how they ended up in the side that they ended up with. Um, uh, you, you, you can also add a link. I forgot to mention. You can also add a link if you want to to like kind of develop what you've been up to. Um, <laughs> And then once we've, we're done introducing, uh, re reintroducing all our characters, then we'll add a couple more words to the word bank, and then we'll jump into the scene. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm Cosmo Halter. Ten years later, um, I think I still have the 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 look. Uh, so instead of the windbreaker on the sh shoulders, you know how? <laughs> have you watched like G Reco? Has anyone watched G Reco? Um, uh, no. It's the Gundam that Tomino did. So, so there's a there's an aesthetic thing I really like, where it's like when they take off their normal suits, they have like the shirts underneath, right? And then the normal suits just look like they tied a, um, like like you tie a jacket around your waist, kind of, uh -huh. thing, right? Mm -hmm. But it's it's the rest of your spacesuit, right? Like you just take off the top, and then like instead of leaving it floating, you tie it around yourself so it doesn't, you know, just just flop sure. about. Um, so yeah, that's that's what Cosmo looks like all the time. There's like a, um, like those athletic body suits underneath, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then like the, the 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 pilot suit is always just like like taken off and then tied around the waist. Um, yeah, uh, I have a new conviction now. Uh, I want to pro protect those important to me. Uh, my impulse is still to focus on the larger goal. Uh, my potential is now uh, as weirdly uh, as a duelist. Like I'm really good in like one-on-one -on -one fights, um, mm. and I'm still overconfident. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, my my I added a new link. Uh, Media Squad, uh, like the family I never had. Um, I think with with how Pantheon um, has like this link to. Her mother and uh, uh, Agni has, uh, you know, like like not a family, but like had this like weird broken link to like Indra manufacturers. Um, mm -hmm. I want to go with the the classic anime trope where, where Cosmo is is an orphan, like from the war, like probably like their parents died during one of the early kaiju attacks, and that's why, you know, um, they they look up to to the pilots so much. Uh, uh and yeah, my new bond is I want Pantheon to come to their senses and reject monstrosity, brackets her monstrosity. Uh if that's okay with you, Sean? I love it, yeah. I mean good good luck. Like I wish you the best in that. <laughs> um but yeah, that sounds that sounds great. Yeah, uh I, I think Cosmo just like stayed through like so so the 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 the, the academy got destroyed right but like um there's still like a, a program for like hey you want to be a, a pilot in like the traditional sense um yeah so she she followed uh that through um and like she still has this hero worship thing going on with with the, the instructor and so wherever uh wherever uh, Stella went wherever she went to, like Cosmo followed, uh, and like tried to like follow their footsteps, um, and never really questioned anything. It's just like you know, I've always known that the kaiju are bad guys. They killed my family. They killed a lot of people. So nothing, nothing will challenge my 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 worldview. I love it. Uh, yeah, hit hit empty. Let's just let's just fight fight some 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 bad guys. I mean, they're all bad guys. All all the kaiju's are bad guys. One hundred percent. Point. Tell. I want my my leader to tell me where the bad guys is. Point me to them, and I'll take them out. You know. 
Uh, that's, that that's sounds like a real Force Tiger hero, I would say. <laughs> yeah, like per perfectly indoctrinated, perfectly brought up. Yeah. <laughs> the ideal pilot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True, true, true. I love that as well. Perfect, perfect. Uh, should, should I go next? Yeah. Yeah. So I decided to go ahead and take the eye patch trope for myself. Um, so basically, it's been 10 years. Kai now no longer has the glasses. Instead, they have an eye patch. And like the, the one eye you can see has these like hollow lenses, right? That like shift and calculate. Um, but, you know, I'm going to say there's something dramatic under the eye patch. Ray does not know what it is yet. Kai does. We'll see <laughs> what happens when we play. Um, and so I put here that Kai's wearing a monster suit, right? Which is um, basically like super uh, ex uh, experimental tech of like bonding more of the monster to like the pilot suits we have on. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like truly when you look at it, like, hmm, terrible idea. Someone should have said, but no one brought it up. Um, and and now Kai, Kai still has their blue black hair. It's a little longer. I'm gonna say like anime mullet long, right? Like a little past the shoulders. But then there's a dramatic white streak in the front. Same side where the eye patches, oh, yeah. right? You can tell something bad happened on this side. Something, yeah. <laughs> right? Wait, so it's like the hair also got yeah damaged right. or something yeah. in like the <laughs> damn, that's good. <laughs> I, can't, I can't resist it. Um, but yeah, and so the bond that I added was with Agni. I couldn't protect you from yourself. I love it. You know, you know, I love I'm, it. I'm here to project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and not realize I needed protecting. Um, and then the impulse I added was figure out their weaknesses, which felt very apt at the hollow eye of the eye patch. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. But my flaw is I'm guilty because um, I think in the 10 years, like, ooh, I, I try to not go too dark, but like, I think in the 10 years, um, I have like made my mother happy, which is one of the worst things that could happen to me, right? Wow. Like she's she's very uh, <laughs> she's very happy with where I am, which means I'm probably not doing well as a person. <laughs> so <laughs> is probably how that's going. That's not good. Um, that's not is, good. <laughs> is she so is she like happy that you're working with Inter Futures? Like, is this like a direction that she's like, yes? Yeah, I think Ooh. I think I think she even like set up things for a hostile like Ooh. corporate takeover, right? So, uh, I'm probably like engaged to some hotshot dude who's like cool. in Ooh. charge of things, you know? Okay, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So. You know, we're going to be like hot gay bad guys. <laughs> it's like nice. the goal my mom has <laughs> for us. Hot gay bad guys, I just want to throw out there, Aaron, you might want to consider. I know you've already got a lot of artists as Spectres of Rockin', but <laughs> maybe as a tagline, Spectres of Rockin'. Hot gay bad guys. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm imagining like like Team Rocket where they pose like back to back. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is that is the kind of gay that we are. Yes, about. I just they saw have, the. To do the... <sighs> yeah, I saw uh -huh. the Tumblr post where they always pose as an R, and I didn't yes. realize it. I was like, yeah. "What? Yeah, <laughs> what? Blows your mind." <laughs> so good, so good. <laughs> but yeah, perfect. Yeah, but that's that's basically Kai right now. Uh, I'm oh, Alex. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, so Agni, um, physically, uh, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. She she had she cut her hair. She has got short red hair now. Um, kind of like I think like a messy kind of cut. So it's like got like one side is like shaved, but it's also mm. you know like kind of messily shaved. Got some 
scars in it. Um, she's kept her bangles, but I think she's got like a boxer monk vibe. I'm, now I'm realizing that's just kind of like a like a martial artist vibe um, mm-hmm. to him. Um, so it's like kind of jacked, scarred up body, right? Um, and uh, the link that I gave kind of goes into like, you know, we already mentioned like he was the the guinea pig for Indra Futures because it's like, hey, we like own you. And it's like, what? And it's like, yeah, go do this thing with this this experiment technology. It like ruined them. Like they they had a big backlash with it. It was very early. Um, and then like bounced because it's like, you don't care about me as a human. You just think of me as a test subject. Like, we put money in you. It's the whole thing. You know, I, I can imagine the scene. Uh, <laughs> and um and so I think like there's a moment. Uh, so a link I made was with uh, somebody I call Coach, who is like just a monk who who kind of trained her after being abandoned. Like kind of found found him and and was like we gotta we gotta like you know bring you back up like harness kind of your stuff into something else. So I think him becoming like a fighter is is how um, how that all kind of manifested. Um, uh, my second bond is to Cosmo. I wanted to do since we're on the same side. I was like, I will. Uh, I refuse to let Cosmo fall. Mm-hmm. Is kind of how I, I want to work it, where it's like the other two in my eyes have fallen. Like you guys have chosen Indra. You're there. I won't let Cosmo do this. And also, I think it's it's also like there's like a protection to it too, where it's like I gotta be there for you, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I added my conviction hit them before they can hit you, which I also briefly mentioned when we were writing this is like because of that, like it's that impulsive, like don't let somebody take the first move. Like I was trapped and damaged because of that. Um, and then my potential is speed demon is what I chose. I think that kind of goes in with the training. Um, but I couldn't, even with the kind of monkish martial arts training, I still have my flaw of hot-headed, and I still am just, like, overwhelm them. Love it. Um, are we piloting the same back? I actually, oh, I, I wanted to ask you. I Thank you for <laughs> Um, Yes, yeah, since we're on this side, uh, yeah. we're, we're still drifting. I, I feel like that, that feels good interesting right like do you want to do like we're piloting uh we're the there's also maybe the thing of like we're the last two from our training group so we were like kind of forced to work together and maybe we weren't exactly prepared but it we were like well we're the only two that can uh and stuff like that so yeah uh yeah i'm, I'm all for us us being drift buddies <laughs> Drift buddies. Drift buddies. Cool. Uh, nice. All right, yeah. What's up with Pantheon? Uh, so Pantheon in the first battle, uh, uh, Aaron, you tell me if this is putting too much guilt on your on Cosmo, but in the first battle, uh, Pantheon uh, with Cosmo at her side, uh, you know, got out of her mech and got horribly, horribly damaged to the point where they thought she was not going to make it. And in fact, on all the records, they said she was deceased. But uh, Kai pulled her out, uh, and Ray told me it was okay, of the wreckage. Uh, she now only exists from about the chest up. Uh, she's just like Ooh. spine going down cannot ex- yes. can no longer live except wow. inside a mech like she only can subs- only can live right now in a in a kaiju because both her body is not there and the kaiju interface is uh and the kaiju interface is what supplants her digestive organs her respiratory system all of these other uh all these other things imagine borg queen but going into Kaiju instead. Mm-hmm. Um, she still has... I, 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 love it. I, I just need to adjust our bond later. 
because I don't want to know that you're you're you're, you're in a kind of uh, That's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, well, I didn't hear what you said, Aaron, but it sounded like it was good. Well, I don't want to know. I, I I want Cosmo to think that you're dead. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I'm 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 totally happy for whatever causes maximal conflict for Cosmo. Dude. <laughs> Um, <gasps> she still wears the silver serpent collar her mother gave her, but those black veins that are in her head have now like protruded out to be like weird Klingon ridges or some shit. Like like where it was like they've come out to like little spikes on the side of her head. Um, and you know she's monstrous in perhaps other ways as well, but mostly just that she's doesn't exist. Uh, most of her is gone. Um, I added a new link to the army of raging kaiju. Um, because my potential is supernatural. I think now that I am like merged, it's like half me, half Kaiju that mm-hmm. I truly am bonded with them and can communicate through their telepathic network. We didn't know they had, but they have, they have a telepathic network. They can talk to each other telepathically. And my conviction is to make them pay, to make them pay for what happened to me. Um, and, oh, that, that's new though. Um, what's new is my impulse, which is to call and support. <laughs> because I can now bring upon this this this, this army, uh, but it's also that I can call upon Kai to try and help me not uh, completely succumb to monstrosity. Uh, and I have a new bond with Kai that I need you to help me from losing myself completely. There's not mm-hmm. much left of Pantheon at this point, but maybe just enough to say, maybe not. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm. I, I need to change that bond. Because uh, I want to honor Pantheon. <gasps> oh, sad. And, uh, oh, yeah. Tragic. Yeah. Revenge on the Kaiju. Uh, uh, <sighs> yeah. I like how there's a question. Question, question, question. No nope. okay. Question mark. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's 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 all very spicy already. Um, okay. So yeah, let's. Uh, so we have a bunch of stuff in the word bank. Uh, we can add a, a, a up to two more words uh, for for each of us uh, that we can use. Um, I yeah. saw mommy issues. I forgot I put that there. Yes. <laughs> and they're still present. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see. Up to I two more, good, right? Uh, realization. <laughs> Is it two more words per person? Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, I'm just going to change it to... Uh, Ooh, I love how we're going for it. We're just like bam, 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 bam. Oh yeah. I I added evolution and memory. Yeah. I added uh, fatigue and identity. Nice. Ooh, that sounds like the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like quarantine. <laughs> Oof. I mean, if you think about it, we really have kind of been. What 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 is a three year pandemic with an ongoing three year pandemic other than a a war that we're all fighting? They're all yeah. <laughs> Gets an invisible target, an invisible foe. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. I added loss of self and goopy. Goopy. <laughs> I was thinking. I was like, I I did fatigue first. And I was like, should we do like a fun one? Like, what what can I do? And I Hash couldn't brown. think of anything. <laughs> hash br- put Hash it in. Oh, there you go. Oh no. <laughs> I changed my pronouns to hash brown for just a moment, but I thought that was. <laughs> Not nah, <laughs> very um, good pro. Yeah, I slash brown. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. it was hash slash brown, but I was like, that's not actually respectful. So. Oh, <laughs> well, I, 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 I think it is. 
it's a fun joke in the moment. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I added a realization and compromise. Realization. Ooh. Compr- oh, compromised. Yeah. Compromised. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even better. Yeah. Even better. Much better than compromise. I thought I was like compromise. That's a cool. That's cool. That's nice in like a war, but compromised, juicier. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I love how just adding that one letter changes the whole yeah. weight yeah. of the word. Yeah, it, it does change the the tone somehow. Yeah, um, man, game oh. design, uh-huh. <laughs> word crafting, <laughs> smithers. So um, I, I need to explain a, a new mechanic. So I, I mentioned blood, right? Um, there's a new mechanic in the conflict phase, which is called blood. Uh, so there are blood tokens here. Um, during the conflict phase, blood acts as a uh, a way to track, like to to track um, how bloody conflicts are uh, and like consequences, uh, and also acts as sort of a timer on 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 scenes. Uh, because when blood runs out, uh, then you should bring the scene to an end. Uh, shortly after, right? Uh, and blood also represents um, like the cost that you're you're gonna pay because one of the big moves that we'll need to keep, be be aware of uh, is war's toll. Uh, so whenever you, any pilot, including yourself, you can always give yourself blood if you want. Um, takes dangerous or harmful action in a mech, uh, you give them one blood token from the pool. Uh, when you get a blood token, you can either choose to hold blood into your hand. Uh, or put it onto your sheet. Um, if you put blood onto your sheet, you choose one of your traits or bonds and erase it. It's gone, right? Delete, delete it. Um, if you hold blood into your hand, uh, then one of the links uh, that you care about is now lost or destroyed. Uh, just delete that as well, um, and and record this loss in the memorial section of the conflict sheet. It's just you, you know they're gone, they're dead. Um, yeah, so. So this this move can trigger at any time. So if, if if at any time you narrate something in a way that's like, hey, that seems dangerous, you should probably take blood for that. Um, that that will happen, right? Um, otherwise the 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 moves are very similar uh, between the the um the academy phase and the conflict phase. Um, you can uh, take a weak move. Uh, so you can gain a word uh, if you need it. If you, you're, you're low on words, you can gain a word when you get into trouble or danger due to one of your traits or bonds. Um, you know, you might act on an impulse to your detriment. Like you might highlight a flaw that exacerbates uh, a problem, that kind of thing, right? Weak move, gain a gain a token when you, you put yourself in, in danger. Um, and then strong move, uh, uh, seize the day. You, you, you spend a token... Um, to take uh, uh, like decisive action and like pivot the scene around to your side, I guess. Um, it also lets you just remove blood without having to pay the price for it, right? So if you want things to resolve nicely for you, uh, you need to spend words to, to do that. So this is the only move that lets you remove blood without, without a, uh, a side effect, like, like a consequence. Right? But it costs you. You need to spend a word for it. Um, the other way you could potentially gain words and also show how you've changed or not changed um, is you can just talk to someone. Uh, when you have a moment of connection or conflict with another pilot that draws back to your academy days, um, you can look up any of the echoes if you want. Um, that triggers the move and whoever has changed, shown the most change or growth since the academy gets to rewrite one of their traits or bonds uh, that was highlighted in that interaction. And whoever changed the least, like, you know, I'm still the same person I was 10 years ago, uh, gains a word. Uh, so if you if you kind of like play into like, yeah, I haven't changed. Like you get the game. Yeah. Words, but you've got to, sh- yeah, you got to show that you, you, you're still the same kid as before. Uh, so that's kind of like the main things. There's, there's weak move, strong move. Um, if, if you ever do anything dangerous, someone, including yourself, might give you blood. Um, and if you are stuck, you don't want to take a weak move. If you want to just talk to someone, um, whoever has changed the most, you get to rewrite one of your, your traits, uh, mm-hmm. change the least, gain the word. Uh, there's one more move uh, which lets you like recover your, your traits of bonds, but like we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay. If, if you want. Um, 
that's 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 a like a pretty conditional thing. So we don't have to cover that at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we should get into it. Uh, and instead of combining two um, prompts for a scene, um, how we do it is that there will be a situation here, like a covert infiltration, a daring heist, um, and then a complication, right? Um, so there could be high emotional stakes. There could be non-combatants in the area. Some, something that makes the situation just more dangerous than it should be. Um, so whoever sets the scene, um, you choose a situation and a complication. Uh, and then based on the setup, you decide how bloody uh, this scene is going to be. Uh, minimum three, maximum about five, right? Because uh, it, it, it will make scenes longer. Um, uh, and then same same like the academy phase, you choose a question as well. Uh, so yeah, who wants to, to get into it the first uh, conflict scene? Uh, I just reading that real quick. I feel like something like a daring heist or a risky mm -hmm. ambush, something that sounds like it involves like not giant legions. Like, on each other that is a little bit more intimate. Mm, okay. Um, I like that direction. You know, like, like a drawn out siege is cool, but if I'm looking at the time, we're gonna play one scene <laughs> like we did last session. So I think I think we can have one scene that is like, you know, a good chance for us to be real personal, real real close. No, those are my votes. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh can I pivot? Oh, not not pivot. I want to pitch. Pivot? Same same idea. Maybe a tense chase. Ooh, um, yeah, I love to, it. To kind of also like mirror our scene before, so, like because I I, I love all the other stuff. Like maybe that smart, can also smart. still be intimate. So it's like a pursuit. Yeah, um, yeah. One of us has the MacGuffin, and the other one needs the MacGuffin before the MacGuffin can activate the super. Before it can, yeah, that's Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, I put a tense chase in there. Wow. Right. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, so what complicates it? Is it uh, high emotional stakes, lacking supplies or repairs, non-combatants in the area, uh, treacherous terrain, unexpected new technology, uh, volatile materials present, uh, heavy political ramifications, or we could combine it with another situation. It could be a tense chase into a risky ambush. Eh, I think I think the co the complications are 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 good ones. I'd like yeah. to grab one of those. Uh huh. Yeah, Bray or Aaron, since since Vidya and I, since we picked the kind of picked the top part. Yeah. Bray, Aaron, do you have the thoughts about what complicates it? Bray, do you have a? Hmm. No, I'm happy to hear what what you think, Aaron. Um, I so I have a pitch uh, for high emotional stakes. Here for it. Uh, because I think I, I my pitch is that Cosmo and Cosmo and Ag Agni are in the same mech, right? Yeah. Uh, so we are chasing down the kaiju that we think uh, killed uh, Pantheon. Love it. <laughs> Not knowing okay. that Pantheon is piloting it, obviously. Yeah, or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm clearly. Oh, Kai. Yeah. Oh, so good. So yeah. good. Kai, do you and I pilot the same as well, or do we have do we have do do we have two different necks? Ooh, I think we could definitely Ooh. communicate telepathically no matter what. So like, there's yeah, no yeah, yeah, like, yeah. lack of <laughs> right intimacy yeah. as needed but i don't know if you right. want a physical body of your own or yeah i i actually like the idea that we have to be in the in the mech together cool. um in that because if if we leave you alone there's a tendency to go berserk right yeah so i Ooh. have to be there with you like physically like we've tried it long distance and it doesn't work as well yeah so. All yeah. our crazy thoughts just keep on taking overwhelming. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to be there so that my voice can be louder than your mother's. So, love it. Love it. you know, mommy issues right there. <laughs> yeah, I think I think just you know to make this 
a hundred, I'm definitely piloting dark saber, right? Like, like mm -hmm. what, what was left to my mom has just been consumed into it. And all that's left is her memories, the psychic impressions <laughs> she left on this guy. Yeah. Here. So yeah, yeah. So emotional stakes sound good. Yeah. Uh, Ray, do you want to choose a question then? Ooh, yeah. Right, right, right. So one of these. Let's see. Um, ooh, don't be too mean, Ray. Um, he has booty as you <laughs> um, da, 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 da. I'm really resisting the urge to be mean. Um, why? Why resist? <laughs> yeah. Um, be um, mean. Right? Yeah. Oh, I just I have to go with the last one. <laughs> I have to say, whenever I play a Star Wars game, I'm always the one like, "Give in to the dark Give side." Give in to the dark side. <laughs> oh my god! It got to the point where the GM was like. Whatever Ray is saying, that's what that's what the dark side is saying. That's what the dark. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the question we have. Do you wanna do you wanna read it out? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, which is, um, whose actions help their side successfully undermine another in secret? Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's an opportunity to like, even though it looks like we're after this MacGuffin, there's you know. Yeah, there's maybe a secret agenda. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see Judd in chat. Judd is here to <laughs> to encourage my worst mean, instinct. Mean, mean, mean. <laughs> how, much, how much blood do we think this this will result in? Oh, I, I feel like it's a lot of blood. I think it's the bloodiest. It's the most bloods. All the bloods. Uh, so we'll go five then. I, think, I don't know um, what that means, but I think so. Yeah. I, I feel like it's dangerous, but it's not like, I think it's more emotionally dangerous oh, maybe than it is physically dangerous. I feel like maybe it's only like three or four, but. Yeah, um, I, I think it's definitely more than three. So four, four seems about right. Yeah. Cool. Four, yeah. Four. Sounds good. Okay. Four. Okay. Yeah. And just, so this, like, this is how much blood can be allocated. This. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So once once the four blood runs out, the scene, you, we we should be closing the scene up, right? Regardless of where we end up. Ooh, okay. Trying to so figure out the answer. Do we have to get through all the blood? Is that also kind of how it is? You don't have to. Like, if if it's <laughs> obvious, right? If the uh, the answer to the question is obvious, you can also just say like, look, there's there's some blood left, but like we can, yeah. we can end it. Yeah. But um, it it's that's like but, how much but if blood runs out, you should be ending it. Right? Yeah. Like battles are uh unpredictable and um yeah. So things might end sooner than you want them to to. Mm -hmm. mm. They okay. might end uh, in a in a <laughs> nice nice little blood bath. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm I'm having fun of using my powers as 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 you know, <laughs> you'll chat on screen. Okay, uh, so I I think the the um the pitch I was making is that like the two of us are in in the mech and we're chasing dark saber, right? Yeah, yeah. which contains both mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, maybe which I maybe we can we can push the drama up too, which is. Maybe also like new technology on their side, on mm -hmm. your side, where it's like two pilots, one kaiju is even more advanced or something like that. Cause like it's it's like one on one, mm -hmm. like one kaiju, one pilot before, but now it's like, oh, well, and I feel like Indra might, have, mm -hmm. Indra might have realized with you uh, that like, oh, if we just stick one in there, they kind of get chewed up. <laughs> yeah. They're like, like disposable. Kinda. Like Agni kind of got messed up real bad and like, ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't want our pilots to get burnt out so quickly. Uh -huh. Also, there's not a whole lot of Pantheon left. So, you know, she... <laughs> it's, more, it's more like two and a half people in this right. Or like one and a half people in this yeah. yeah, but but also it's a symbolic thing, right? Because Darksaber yeah. has been around 
for more than 10 years. Oh, yeah, a long time. Never been defeated, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so I think for, for our higher-ups, they're like, look, you're our ace pilots. This is like a big symbol for, for the opposite side, right? Indra Futures, um, like, like Darksaber is, is like an icon. It's almost like a mascot for, for the other side. We need to take it yeah. down. Yeah. It'll boost morale. It'll show that like this so-called mm-hmm. invincible monster is not that invincible, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Not then for us, it's like... You know, like, hey, we have a personal connection. This, this, this one monster like like killed uh, my 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 friend who, um, actually I feel guilty about because I think I I feel like I put her in a dangerous situation, right? Oh, yeah. We were fighting yeah. together for sure. Um, so like, yeah, I I have a personal vendetta, and like like command is like, yeah, everyone has a personal vendetta against Dark Saber, whatever. Yeah. Approve, <laughs> approve. <Yeah. laughs> I feel like Dark Saber needs to be doing something that's particularly threatening. Like I don't know, carrying a nuke into a volcano or something like that. That's gonna like cause yes! earthquakes. I'm just saying, like Dark Saber should be like if it's a chase. It's like Dark Saber is like all about doing something real, real bad that. Is this cool with you, Ray? If we're if we're if we're on, a, I don't know why we're on a plan to drop a nuke inside a volcano, but it feels I, like a thing that really destroyed me for some reason. <laughs> just like I don't know, like a nuke in a volcano, like just how quickly you just threw that. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> it went from course. one to eleven, just one to eleven, on 11 so quickly. If, yeah, if, if we're going back to like the Pacific Rim uh, influence, right? Like that's how they close the yes. rift. But yeah. what if in this one, this is how you open the rift? This is how oh, you open yeah. it. Yeah, it's like, yeah we're you gonna go, bring more go. monsters over. Yeah, exactly. Right. Nice, yeah. nice, perfect. Yeah. Dark Saber just stolen like a super powered nuke that was supposed to be used against the kaiju. Stolen right. one was like, and because they're so big, can just like carry one football style, like like run this giant rocket football style into a into a nuke. Yeah. Volcano. Perfect. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right? I keep going. I go keep going over the top, but I do no, think I'm it. here for it. I'm here for it. Let's I do it. Let's love do it. it. I'm here to <laughs> unleash the monster in you. So let's do it. <laughs> um. Yeah. So okay. I think. <laughs> I needed to repivot. I needed to best re- realign my brain. Um, so we, so like y'all are transporting this nuke, and then we like chase after you, Ooh. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh my gosh, we have to see like this huge air carrier dropping off you two right in your yeah. back, like <laughs> crashing down into the other side of the the volcano rushing oh, in after yeah. us. That's what makes it a tense chase, right? <laughs> like you gotta, yeah. you gotta get you gotta catch Dark Saber tense before. quotation mark. Uh-huh. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> volatile <laughs> chase. Yeah, actually, um I, I wanna re reframe that a, a bit, right? It's not that we got assigned uh-huh. to this, it's like they sent seven mechs, right? They sent seven mechs uh, all in the like, carriers. Yeah. And like one by one, all of them get shot down by like 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 the other oh, good. Uh, yeah. things. And like we are the last ones that like made it oh, here. Perfect. Like the carrier yeah. drops us off and immediately gets blown up as well. Yeah. Right? yeah. As soon as you as soon as you jettison out the thing, like while you're still falling, it gets shot out of there. I, I think yeah. maybe we didn't even jettison, right? Like it's like, oh, oh, <gasps> they wanted to yeah. drop us on top of, of oh, the dark saber. Oh, yeah. And Love it gets it. blown up and we'd be like, fuck, we have to like we I we had to run. The, the, <laughs> I think we ripped the um the the restraints off like the the harness off nice um, and like make a controlled fall out of the out of the oh plane. hell yeah oh uh, that way you can do the cool hero like three point fall or the three point fall <laughs> yeah yeah this definitely uh, feels it's... like a uh like Agni is like it, it, maybe like Cosmo's a little bit more like all right how do we do this Agni is like three two we'll just hold on and I like start ripping <laughs> stuff out uh. Definitely a lot of didn't think this through properly, but we need to get out. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> weird, weird. I, I am going to uh, try and gain a word here. Uh, yeah, do I, think, it. I think this is reckless action, right? Um, mm. Like, like. Like usually, I would like tell Agni, no, no, no. We need to do like a proper control, like 
exit because um hey our our um uh, uh, uh support team like the people like like actually flying the plane need to get out safe um but like this time i'm so like blinded by like revenge that I was like yeah yeah f- fuck it like let's just go right i don't give a shit anymore um i'm <laughs> I, <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna take a uh, betrayal here uh because i think this is um like a like Co- cosmo tries to be like like you know like the perfect pilot right like the ideal pilot for the vanguard um and which, which means like hey i i i uh, uh i want to keep my like squad safe right like you know mm-hmm. you know yeah. everyone everyone leaves together right right but in in this situation it's like no we need to take dark saber down no matter what right um like this bond is is stronger than than the bond that I have with like my squad, um, yeah. And like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Like, all of them are dying around me. They all got taken out in the approach, anyways. What's one more dead pilot? What's one more dead like wow. uh, drop pilot? Um, mm-hmm. I'm giving myself blood here. Okay. I'm I'm just gonna take it, uh, and destroy Meteor Squad. <gasps> wow okay Damn. Just like really kind of on it okay 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 um yeah. okay then then I, I feel like this is really good so is so instead of kind of what i said before where like um like you're letting agni do this but i think agni is absolutely terrified like is or is not terrified but like is um is concerned like mm-hmm. uh especially with that bond of like i refuse to let cosmo fall like i'm like hey d- you are f- you are losing it like you need to calm down um it's it's almost like uncharacteristic of uh of agni to to try and like quell this you know like tamp down this anger um and uh I want to. I kind of want to. Like, I feel like there's like a. Sorry, uh, you finish your move, but I want to maybe move this into like a words on the battlefield. If you had some more yeah, stuff yeah. to to go on, yeah. Because um, uh, because I think the thing because this puts us in danger, right? Like, yeah, I, I'm taking the weak move here, um, because I think you know, like maybe just make make this the. I think it's not overconfident. This is the duelist part coming through, right? Uh huh. Um, in that uh i i think we have a grapple of some sort i, I love hook shots in, in yeah the <laughs> no i love that yeah um so so if, if it's okay with you vidita i you know when you say the three point like landing uh-huh. like um in my mind i was like oh that's more than three points because i think we have four arms I feel like we have to have four. Yeah, like a hundred percent. Like there's two pilots. Obviously, there's two... we you definitely yeah. need extra arms. Yeah, <laughs> we can handle extra arms. Like other other like non ace pilots, right? They need two people just to work two arms, right? Yeah, we can work more. Um, so one of uh, the arms has like a grapple shot. Right. As a grapple shot, I will actually say like I, as soon as you said that, it triggered. It reminded me. A, a, another reason why I chose overwhelm them as an impulse was because the possible mech features is multiple arms, and I was like, well, I have to have multiple. Arms. So I'm a hundred percent. But I also was oh, open oh, that. Like, yeah. So just, so I think this this is like grappling directly onto um uh onto dark saber, and yeah the the uh, uh the drop ship like just gets like twisted around um as we get get like like shot through like with the grapple shot um and like like blows up like fall like like crash crashes into the ground behind us um and i think <laughs> i think like it brings us immediately close so it's a tense chase because like it brings us immediately close to dark saber and then like something happens that like just blows us up Right. Oh, what, I know what's, exactly what's what happens. 
I mean, yeah, yeah I would love to. The, uh, how are how do y'all? Um, I mean, I think I very interested. Uh, my my feeling on like when Darksaber first realizes that you're that you that you've that you've successfully landed, um, there's this like predatory like this predator kind of like response where like the head snaps back immediately and like sees you and like these red eyes like lock on like and there's like this impulse to destroy and then there's Kai and um and then there, there's Kai and Pantheon inside like deciding how we want to to deal with this like Dark Saber's natural desire to destroy who we know is our friends. Absolutely no doubt. Yeah. We know that this is these we're on this are, we're on the side where we know and they're on the side where they don't. We don't right? know. Yeah. Because we are really the bad guys. <laughs> we're totally we're, we have we're, to know. We're absolutely the bad guys. No, yeah. I, I there's there's nuance that we haven't been able to Different get to. Different shades of bad yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm we're still all not sure guys. sure we're the bad guys, but we're certainly framed by this Universal right, right. Studios motion picture as the bad guys. <laughs> Definitely, um, definitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I, I so I have an idea of what would happen externally if you want, like, just like what causes it. But also, I feel like there's a conversation that happens internally. Um, mm -hmm. So if we can, if it's OK, to like pause for a second for the external action to like yeah. zone in on the internal action. Where, That's enemy of shit. Yeah. That's enemy yeah. of shit. Yeah. Uh, were the anime way of like this can't possibly be three seconds right exactly yes. it's like, <laughs> it all takes place in like a, a heartbeat but there's a whole conversation that's like five minutes long that's gonna right. happen in the middle of it yeah um, yeah yeah and and uh and pantheon like reaches out like her one arm in through the goop and is like no hold mother and then turns <laughs> and then like turns to uh kai and says Remember when uh, I, this is just like in the race where we had to get across the finish line because they were too busy, like trying to make peace with our enemies. Um, and uh, you showed me the way then. Uh, is it time to finally sever our ties uh, or do we give them one more chance to see the truth? And, uh, Ooh, you're asking me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I what ask you, how monsters should we yeah, be doing? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Should we utterly destroy them? I mean, not that mechanically we can, but that's right, fine. right, right. I get it, I get it. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I think when you when you hold back the one arm towards like the kaiju, I think I reach out, right, and I I place my hand on the small of your back, like where it disappears into the spine, where like the worst of the the wound is. Yeah, and um, and I say. It's time to make our bond stronger. We can't be held back by anything or anyone anymore. Oh my yes. god. I say as, as I like lean over and put my forehead against yours, like in oh this moment god. of like oh my god. <laughs> monstrous intimacy. Yeah. Oh, like immediately triggering that kind of drift point or whatever. Yeah. 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 I think, I oh think yeah, it... that drift point, it makes sense, right? It goes back in time and we see all those times when like the four of us were hanging out yeah. right but each time pantheon and i would like lock eyes it like yeah, goes yeah. back to those moments yeah. yeah i think we lock eyes and then externally you see dark saber and your mech lock whatever the yeah. eyes are and dark saber just lifts up this giant foot and slams it into the ground and it causes a like the earth to shatter around and so that so when you're like what's the explosion that knocks us back it's this earthquake caused by dark saber like slamming the ground and like it, the the earth erupts around you and sends you flying back like this is for a mech only a minor inconvenience but it looks like catastrophic it would destroy many buildings if oh were, absolutely if you weren't a mech or something like that how how close are we to the volcano are oh, we at the point right where there. yeah it's like like, like Right. Does this does this crash also send like magma? Uh, out? Yeah. Is this like, yeah. Okay. Like yeah, we've hit yeah. that point. Like we're right yeah. now. Like at the like yeah. there yeah. is. Oh my gosh! The lava. magma comes out so quickly that it starts cooling in midair, <laughs> right? And shatters. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it turns into like light. Oh my god. And I feel like uh, at so that point we turn and keep running. Like we like like now you. have you know, now you got to make up for lost time because, like, the, you got thrown back. 
Um, right. I feel like this was words on the battlefield. Yeah. 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 That, that's yeah. What I was going for. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So who has shown the most change or growth since the Academy? Uh, I feel like it's, I feel like, in my mind, I feel like it's Pantheon because you've been through so much. I think so. You're no too. longer holding on to your humanity. Yeah. While Kai, poor Kai, has been monstrous since since then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to change my bond with Cosmo. I want Cosmo to protect me from the Four Star Year Academy. Uh, and I say, I think my my bond with Cosmo is now going to be. Um, I want uh, Cosmo must see the errors of his ways um uh, no never mind i want cosmo i want cosmo to see the beauty of what we can become <laughs> there we go Ooh. perfect yeah, yeah. And I grabbed the, since I was the one who changed the lease, I grabbed the word mommy issues because nice. Perfect. <laughs> between the two of us, it feels yeah. like we should have those words. Yeah. Well, I, and I literally <laughs> had, like, call, had to call to mother, you know, to right, not to, like exactly. stay her hand and, and not immediately just destroy another <laughs> round. Oh my gosh. I think when I, to, to show that word, um, I think there's a moment where we cut back. To like the base where every where all of this is being watched on numerous screens, and we see Kai's mother like move the mech like in this battle chess sort of like situation, <laughs> like keeping yeah. track of what's going on, and then right. cut back. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh my god! No, I love I love establishing that there is like one of like the one of the factions is min, is like you know there. Yeah, keeping an eye on this. On all this. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, there, there's radar. There's screens and heads up displays yeah. and and readouts on some computers. No, that's so very I think it's good. To, I think it's to you. I think it's to. Oh, what's the name of your mech, by the way? Yeah, do yeah, we I have a name? Yeah, you, you, you go for it. You you should go for it. Oh no! Oh, uh, what has four arms? Nice name. What has four arms? But bear is the first thing. They Owlbear. Did you say a bear a bear has four arms? Right? I said owl bear, bug bear. Okay. <laughs> I know they um, don't, but some owl bears have like wings and arms anyway. I I'm thinking like I'm going like real Pacific Rim with this, where like maybe like shatter point or, or something. I don't ah, know. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Let's do it. well no shatter point is like a word, but I think like shatter, you know. There's a, it's like some weird stuff where it's it's like Shatter Diablo is like what oh yeah, yeah. 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 it has to be the yeah. Or, or, oh, oh yeah oh right like it's Shatter yeah. and then something totally unrelated yeah something yeah. something like that um, Wh whiskey tango yeah whiskey uh, tango. Shatter Omega <laughs> oh yeah Shatter Omega sounds good Shatter Omega because Shatter feels really like uh, very much like Ugni would do so it's like what's the other word that like Cosmo right. would add to it right? I've, I've been choosing like like um like as astronomy like cosmo uh meteor Stella. Ooh. Uh, oh that's right uh, so shatter galaxy shatter nebula oh sh oh shatter nebula shatter so nebula shatter. shatter nebula there you go that's a great oh god damn that's such a cool mech name yeah i think yeah. i think when we see that like we see the word shatter nebula across the arm yeah oh the shattered, yeah and the shattered magma behind you turns into starlight for a moment <laughs> ah! right? Just the, yeah yeah <laughs> so in total neon genesis style like shoo 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 right dark saber yeah. is just moving at incredible speeds bounding Jeez. over things and you're like You've just been knocked back. Like, how is Shatter Nebula going to catch up uh, after being thrown back before the, you know, Dark Saber gets to the to the volcano? Um, I mean, I really want to kind of pull on my potential with like Speed Demon. Yeah. I feel like it's just like it's kind of like. Maybe okay, so like you, this is all kind of happening very concurrently, right? Where like mm -hmm. Cosmo comes down, uh, Ugni is like scared, like concerned that uh, Cosmo is like just you know being fueled by anger, um, 
and then we get attacked and i think agni kind of like turns into like kind of has to be like this is you know we see the character development of like 10 years have passed and it's like a little bit more like all right what's important right now is kind of the package or, or like you know we have to stop this thing it's like we can talk about this later maybe and then just starts um um <laughs> i think we uh there's oh, shit how do, how do i just explain this like animation wise or like how it looks is we get in a runner stance you know like we put our there's like the 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 cooled magma is like behind us a little bit and we put like you know our foot on the back of it um like you know like how runners like at the start they kind of have the thing that they put their foot on that they kind of push oh, yeah. And then all four of the arms are also like on the ground in like different ways. There's definitely some rock that has like in the yeah like, in the in like the explosion of rock in the the avalanche and the crack. There's definitely some rock that is now perfectly framed as like the brace for you. yes yeah. for yeah, yeah, the for, for the foot. Yeah. And then like we see like the tent because again it's like a flesh mech thing, right? So like yeah. I think the tendons of like the calf and like the the leg start to like glow hot or something like they, they're like glowing and they're steaming and then it just um and then it like kicks off right like then we like do like this right he has to vent steam it vents it steam yeah. yeah it like yeah and then like the the rock behind us like shatters from the impact yeah. and things like that and we just kind of start sprinting like this intense <laughs> forearm and uh do you kind end up of, like, running alongside Darksaber? Like, because Darksaber's running as well, right? Yes, so yeah. Kind of bastard, is it like, she's the point where we're like, I, running alongside each other? We could... I think we have to, yeah. Um, I, I'm i like, do we... We should just kind of jump to all the juicy moments. So yeah, I think yeah. it's like, we run alongside, and I imagine it's like, so we're taking like huge sprints. Like, it's not like our movement isn't like really fast. It's just like, right. boosh. Yeah, it's like these long, yeah, leaps, like these lunges. Yeah, love it. And like maybe like we like our eyes meet, um, and I want to. I feel. I feel like I had a moment here. I might be triggering a move, so somebody tell me if I do. Uh, but I want to like. How do we know? Like, how do we get to the moment where like we learn that you two are in this? And I think there's something about like us attacking you like mm -hmm. contact causes yeah. like some kind of like neural link, neural thing to happen all of a sudden the four of us just like us four on this screen or suddenly in the same split screen like, for like a hot second and like okay. yeah. and like the the contact of the punch we all sense each other and then like you get sent flying or something like that um, Ooh, this sounds like I've made a huge mistake. The move, like <laughs> I just, I just, I just yeah. feel no, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, especially because you have a nuke on your back, yeah, and yeah. we're just <laughs> coming at you with like right. reckless abandon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I want a moment where there's like there's like the tense like locking of blades. So I think as you yeah. go to punch, Dark Saber's arm reaches up and it just turns into a giant blade. And like mm. reaches up just like to block and it like cuts into like it cuts yeah. like I don't know, inches, feet, who know who knows? Cuts deep. We're giant men. It cuts yeah. deep in like not doesn't like sever anything, but like cuts deep in your arm. And that's when like there's some shorting and circuitry. We get the like, you know, connection and yes, you know, one another. I have yeah. a I have a way to 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 like like make this work as well, is that uh huh. Rather in addition to like the neural link, like there's a superimposed image of like, hey, uh, Agni and and Pantheon, um, uh, no, Agni and Kai have the closer relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Agni and Kai used to like spar or something, and like yeah. Kai had pulled this move off before. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Uh, ouch. Yeah, and you recognize uh, the move. You yeah. you recognize like like you went in for like your classic like oh I'm gonna do like an overhead chop or something like that. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. Come on, I've seen this before. I've seen this you know, before. Hit, hit oh then, yeah, like, yeah. So the mech like, like goes in like in this aikido like, kind of style. Like, yes. Oh, yeah, that's and, good. And I think we cut back to that flashback when we were in the academy together. 
Oh. And I just sort of laugh and I'm like, Agni, when are you? Uh, when are you gonna learn? Are you gonna learn? Right? Yeah, yeah. This... <laughs> that's so good. Uh, I, then, think that, I think then, that's the juicy moment. Yeah. Right, right. And in that flashback, like it's it's Kai reaching down to help you back up, but it's, instead now it's the mech coming down with the sword with the blade. Right. Ooh. So, like... <laughs> right. Um, and I think like I think to to like kind of have all of these like maybe it is like blood i i'm looking at the token bleed which i yeah. think i kind of want to take where it is yeah, yeah. like the moment of like you know because like we're neurally linked to our corpse mech it bleeds you also are like it's like there's a lot of like mix of like our brains and our yeah, I feel like there's like black so, fluids yes pouring out of our backs and our and our and our I feel like I feel like there's like an exchange of that like kind of like you know it splashes on both of us like both of our kind of mech fluids splash on each other and then like something weird happens like that's I know I know but like I should just, just our blood I should just say blood <laughs> slashes on each other and then like maybe like I mean, that's the thing is like you make do... a monster fucking game but I but guess. i guess yeah. we're we're here <laughs> suddenly this becomes very intense this becomes very yeah. intimate sorry i um, realize i've been swearing a lot uh it's oh fine. my god actual play doesn't have an issue with swearing i mean okay. yeah. it's, it's, it's i always now. forget yeah uh this is actual play after dark right <laughs> right <laughs> <Night time here. laughs> so so it could be i've made a huge mistake or it could be words on the battlefield actually right which mm -hmm. one are you more interested in yeah which one are you interested in bid mm -hmm. um honestly words on a battlefield might be oh wait hold on a lot of stuff moved i think like can i not see words on the battlefield there it is uh Oh, this might be me. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I, I need to lock these things. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Um, Everybody, I think, I, we apologize. It's kind of all over. Um, I think I think it is words on a battlefield. So, like, what's actually triggering this is the um, memory, right? Yeah. Uh, of of the two of us fighting, and I think again, it's like this moment. <laughs> And then, like, we both have this realization, I feel. Or, like, or like I have... Sorry, you guys know it's us. I have this realization. Um, and then there's, like, a confirmation that happens in that, like, flash of, like, understanding mm -hmm. each other. Yeah. Of, of, like, our weird, like, connection going on. Um, and then so... I still want to give you blood because it's... Yes. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Um, for the words on the battlefield is uh, the pilot who has shown the most change or growth since the Academy may rewrite a traitor bond, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like since it's kind of the between the two of us, right? Um, what we kind of just got described is like, I'm using an old technique that I knew wouldn't work. And then, so maybe like I have changed the lease. I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 And I think there's a, yeah, I want to say like there's a there's a moment where like even though it's Pantheon's arm that's coming down, like and that blade and barely misses you, right? Yeah, I think like we we flash back to like this hulking Kai just like standing over you, but that didn't happen in the past, right? But that's happening yeah. now. So yeah. just to show I'm like Kai has given it. I yeah. love that. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, and then so um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, while you do that I just want to make sure so when I get a blood I can you can take it into your it hand on. and destroy one of your links or you can put it onto your character sheet and destroy one of your traits or bonds so um, while you're doing that I just want to say that I changed my Agni bond instead of like I want to protect you from yourself. I change it to Agni. I want you to save me. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> uh, 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 so good. Which could be a mecha red flag. I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> Whenever you watch yes. a mech anime and you're like, 
is this a red flag or hope? Is this a red flag? Or... Yeah, I want you to. Is this I a want death you to flag? save me. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is a death flag. It's entirely what it is. Um, gosh, I don't know if I want to get rid of. Uh, I don't know which one of my things I want to get rid of. Uh, maybe. Maybe I got rid of my flop hot headed. Um, mm, yeah. yeah. I mean, this feels like a harsh way to learn. To yeah. Not be a hothead, right? Like, or like hit them before they can hit you. Like, we're outmatched. Right. right. Come on, also, this you is obviously like a have a, a reason to be like, whoa, maybe I shouldn't just attack immediately because this yeah. is more than meets the eye. Like, this isn't who I thought yeah. it was. I think that <laughs> might be what it is. Yeah. Uh, do I put do I put the blood like here on the conviction yeah, that I lost? Uh, let's delete what was there. Delete what was there. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. It is just blood. I love that. Uh, cool. Love it. Oh, also, should I put the the speed demon mech feature? Do, oh, yeah. do I just sure. yeah? Just that we have like super tendons or something, yeah. you know, like. <laughs> So fiction, I think we just had this like, you caught up, we had this like confrontation. And I think, Ray, if, if I'm understanding, if I'm, if this sounds right, like, instead of that moment where like, where uh, a shatter nebula, like, instead of like reaching down to like, give them the hand up, you like dropped Darksaber's blade, narrowly yeah. not, you know, cutting them in half and is it now back to the race and the next scene is like on the top of the volcano or is it like some more duking it out here like because if think it's duking it out here then i want it to be i want it to like shift pilots where we go like now it's cosmo and and yeah pantheon like like because you both got like shaken by that and it's like takes it out of you for a yeah. second so you need like your, your co-pilots like to cover but if it's like run up to the top of the volcano that's also cool How, yeah what do we feel do we, like I think I want to heighten it so it's like now it's like cool we had this little skirmish and now it's it's like bound and dark saber just like Gamera who you didn't even realize had jets in its butt like <laughs> it's like poof, like rocket ships up to the top uh, out of and what happens is like the feet and the back kind of like open up like in this like squicky thing and then just. Like what comes out is like perhaps rocket explosion, perhaps gooey bits, but it's and uh, rocket. Oh my up, gosh! Up I have it. to, I have to say, even though I mentioned this before, this is the perfect time in my theme song, "Running Up That Hill." Oh, like yeah. that was on. That's <laughs> We're yeah, literally that running up that volcano. <laughs> you are seizing the day here, right? Uh, right. Actually. Play the theme song, of course. Oh yeah. yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, spend a word to take a decisive action, highlighting when it retreats or bonds, and how it's linked mech feature. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna say, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Unfun confetti spaghetti. Yes, that is exactly what is coming out of us as we <laughs> as we rock up to the top of the hill. Jeez. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at Pantheon's. Ooh. I mean, I yeah, have outrun the past. Old. It's got to be mine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say it's the. Yeah. I, I mean, any of these outrun the past really sounds like it. I know it's what, what Sean described sounds more like a hyper booster. But I have to say a phase shift generator sounds really awesome. No, <laughs> so like, just wants it. <laughs> absolutely. That was just the thing that like made us go faster than instead. Instead of flying, now it's because we got to be running. So mm -hmm. yes, never mind. It was just the jet propulsion, like our own speed thing. So yeah, mm -hmm. take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take phase, phase shift generator. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. And I am spending the word. Let's see. Ooh, synchronization. Yeah. I think like in this moment, you and I are like, right? Oh my God, which is kind of the point of the song of running up that hill. Ah, anyway, sorry. 
Yeah. Which is also the music video. I'm so happy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm spending. I'm spending that. It's all coming. It's all coming together. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh. So we get, you, you get to remove one blood. Oh hey! Without any consequence. Oh nice. Mm. So I get to remove one blood from the from the pool, basically. Yeah. yeah. So I already did that. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So there's blood. one more blood left in the pool. So we should we should be ending soon. Like yeah. One, one yeah. More yeah. I want to um, look at the pivots also. So just because like there's a chance to. Um, oh yeah, but it's here. Activated burst of incredible speed, outpacing oh, everyone. Perfect. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I think that's it. Cool, cool, cool. Are cool. I'm trying Ooh. To think. What did you say, Aaron? I missed that. Oh, it's one of the pivots in there. It's like fulfill a personal vendetta or goal after so long. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, no. Well, I, I need to do that. I need to do that. <laughs> Can well, I say, ah? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, go on. <laughs> I mean, unless you have an idea, Sean, because mine's going to be awful. I'm warning mine's you now. Mine's going to be super awful, too. Uh, <laughs> let's let's out-awful each other. What's yours? What's yours? Okay, mine is, we're literally standing up. Well, this isn't me doing it. It's me asking Aaron to do it. But, or Cosmo, we're literally standing up there with the nuke in our hands, ready to drop into the volcano. The moment is upon us, right? Like, this is, this is it. And this is when Pantheon finally calls out to Cosmo, like through Darksaber, but somehow in their own voice. And it's like, you couldn't save me then. You can't save me now. And you have the choice of kill Pantheon and Darksaber or let them unleash holy hell into the world. Like it's it's on you. Kill, 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 uh, you oh get the you wanted, but Jeez. kill your friend or let them do this horrible thing, but save your friend. Uh, yeah, that's my horribleness, right? You feel free to add whatever horribleness you want to add to that, or 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 we could compete. On I, I I think I think I'm just gonna add a little bit there, where like it cuts back to Kai's mom, yeah, like, and there are all these things going like how it's going according to plan, and then mm -hmm. and then and then Kai's mother like leans in and says, "You're finally worth watching." No! Oh, no! Yeah. Like in this moment, right before Kai could die, right? Is what she said. Jesus does Christ. Ah, brutal. So oh, I, shit. I, think, I, I want to, like, like, yeah, we are at like that, that, that climax, right? But then, like, this is, this is like Mecca anyway. So even at like the, the climax, we need to talk it out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, like, Oh my god! Like like the 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 echoes to when I thought I lost you forever. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely there. I I think, I think Cosmo through the link is like, um, like I can't believe it. Like, is this Kai's doing? Like, is is he? You know? Yeah. It's not, I mean, I think that's super reasonable to blame it on Kai, but I think there's at least some part of it that you know. Pantheon, there's still part of Pantheon left. Like, yeah, because yeah, I think Cosmo is like, like, look, is this Kai's doing? You can, you can walk back, right? Like, you can reject him and and his like like influence. Like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be a monster. Yeah, just because other people think of you as one. Are you slowly getting? Are you slowly like walking up the hill as you're as we're having this conversation? So like yeah, we're, think, we're like, like, oh, like instead of you like missing us, right? I think we are like fucked up, right? Like like uh, Vidya, like yeah, it's okay. yeah. Like I think like Chatter yeah. Nebula, like by the time it reaches the top of that hill, it's like oh, two arms we're... are gone. Like a leg is like like yeah, like, a, le like, a yeah. leg is yeah, yeah. Um, we're using the grappling hook to move around rather than like the legs. No, 100%. I think, like, our skirmish at the bottom that we kind of... Oh, right. So, so the, does the have you, like... Did cut off a you're, few like, cu limbs, you're yeah. cutting stuff. Like, I, I feel like, you know, like, maybe we got some good hits in, but it's, like... This is, like, big end of Revenge of the Sith, right? Like, you're on the high ground, and we are yeah. just fucking crawling. There's a volcano, right? too. Right? Yes, yeah, there were at a volcano. Yeah. My, my and, thought was that... In, so the, the grappling hook is, like, an organic thing, right? 
Yeah. Like, it's Ugh. not a steel cable. It's like a... <laughs> Yeah, it's like, like a, a tendon like, or a tendril. Like, or I guess I, I guess I didn't think that, but go on. Yeah. Yes, it of course it is. <laughs> right, and like so, so usually it's like like muscle fibers wound up into a cable, but yeah. now it's like frayed, and like I'm u- we I'm using it more like like, you know, like spreading like 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 tendrils out and like just dragging the whole. Ooh, yeah, like, kind of commando yeah. style, like pulling yourself up through the. Uh... Yeah, yeah. To make to make a, to date myself horribly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like like over this like like psychic link is like look, you know, like and, and and I think I think this is the this is the thing right. This is the most monstrous Shatter Nebula has looked right. The armor yeah. is falling off. Like this is this is the 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 thing in Eva where you finally see the face, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And underneath, underneath all the metal, the yeah. whatever that makes it look heroic. Like there are. Like eyes, yeah. You know, uh, I I I feel like we are having um, a, a words on the battlefield. I mean, it, it it seems like, and 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 tell me if I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. Is that you're you're trying to offer Pantheon the chance to to give up this horrible fate and and that there's still redemption. For them, and that they, and that, and that she could still, she could still change her mind and not do this horrible thing. Yeah, but like, I also want to put it to 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 the point that like Cosmo, I think Cosmo doesn't realize like how like broken your body is. Yeah, and so so they they say the words you can walk out of that cockpit and like come back to us. Oh, oh. I, love it. I love it! I love Hit it! The bridge, just leave. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I feel like I, I just want to say, like, when, when Cosmo says that, I put my arms around you to, like, hold you close to me. Oh. Right? Yeah. Um, I, I love it so much. Like, Aaron, I was totally torn on, like, what should happen until you're like, you could just walk out of that cockpit. And that's yeah. when Pantheon realizes you don't understand me. You don't know what I've gone through. I don't know. Um, and I think. <laughs> We introduce. I want to take the blast blood because I'm going to do the um, thing when a pilot takes a dangerous or harmful action to a mech. Um, I'm taking the last blood, and I'm introducing season two more kaiju. Um, the, 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 uh, we fail. We the fail. Kaiju to stop it. As the nuke gets thrown down into the volcano. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's totally that moment of like, oh, you can just walk out of that cockpit that makes her realize she's broken and a monster, and and Kai, you holding her, uh, just makes her feel like I've I've been found. We, oh my god, we cut back to like the the control room. Kai's mom just smiles like we see like this horrible like devious <laughs> smile of like, good, <laughs> you know, this is exactly what we needed. Um, yeah. shit. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, and like I mean, we and like Shatter Nebula is just kind of there, right? Like we can't get out. Like I, mean, I think I think they're for about for all for all you know be, these mechs are super indestructible and whatnot. I think you could just get blown back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh-huh. all any of us could survive if we wanted to. But the yeah. horrible thing that could not come to pass, I think, comes to pass, and that and yes. and thus we get renewed for season two because now we have. <laughs> We have all of the... Yeah, oh, yeah. I was going to say when the drop, when the bomb drops in. Sorry, yeah. I'm playing Running Up That Hill in the background and it's revving me up too much. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so when, when the bomb drops in the background, um, I think like this huge explosion as the rift starts to open up and then like it's that moment where our mech, right, like starts to like float up like reacting to the rift energies mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then the magma forms around and there's this moment of like are they destroyed by the magma are they protected by it like mm-hmm. what's going on right. right and it's just and it's just like kai holding on to pantheon just whispering over and over again you did so good right yeah. i'm so proud of you jesus christ kai <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you- I- 
sound like a villain. It <laughs> is. I took, um, I took Colin support. I, I destroyed Colin support because this is the support. This is the yeah. army of kaiju that are coming through this thing. Like I have, I have called in. This is, you know, this is the, the, the kaiju army. Ooh, oh, yeah, oh the sky God. rips open as lightning comes through, and we see these like tentacles and eyes coming in from the other side. Oh yeah. my god! I didn't, didn't finish the move, but like I want to take because I I definitely changed the the least, right? Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. what, what move didn't we finish? Sorry, I'm oh uh, my, um, words on the battlefield. Oh damn it! I'm sorry. Yes. No, no, <laughs> that's fine. Like, you, you you did you that as well. You did both, right? But yeah, like, I should mm -hmm. gain a word out of that, and like you can like rewrite one of the traits or bonds. Just, well, just we should like, decide between you and I who's changed the most. I feel like I've changed a lot, and you're mm -hmm. you. Have, I feel like I'm the change. change. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for uh, sure, for sure. Uh, I spent betrayal last time, right? I'm taking it back. <laughs> taking back betrayal. <laughs> Can Definitely I, I wanna, felt betrayed at this moment. Uh huh. I want to do something also. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So just because we run out, we run out of yeah. Blood doesn't mean the scene ends immediately. Like, if right. you want to resolve anything, re resolve it now. Right. But like. Uh, we know that this is the end of the scene. Yeah. So I, I think I want to trigger the um, "this is me now" move. Um, so spend two words and say how you've healed or moved on from your past to remove a blood from your pilot sheet, and then I fill in the associated traitor bond. Um, so I want to spend um, self reflection and realization is like a big one. Uh, you know, it's all <laughs> they're, they're very similar. Um, okay. And uh, I want to fill in my conviction with protect, uh, protect those important to me. And it's like, um, I think like we, we're kind of talking, like, I, I want to maybe push that like we're, we could be in danger or not. But I think mm -hmm. like I, with like, like out of like our, you know, we have like all of our arms, like, one arm, like Indra takes an arm and pulls Cosmo out mm. and like <laughs> throws them to safety. You know what I mean? Like throws, like maybe like, you know, it's like, Hey, you got to get the fuck out of here. Cosmo. Like you have to survive. Um, and I think I like, like toss you to safety or like, you know, something like that. Like, or like forcefully activate the, like, like an ejection. Pod. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, it's like you, you like maybe, maybe like you know we're so damaged that like Indra's side of the pod is also like it's not ejecting or something like that. Like we're not like I'm stuck uh, uh, again for the dramatics of like did I survive? Kind of yeah. I think it's also like a fun oh first season two. Can we um, say that that you uh, for your character like something like. You have to make a false promise that you're going to follow, that you're going to be right there. <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, so, uh, as a, as a um, pre not preview, but like uh, to reveal something here, there used to be a move where you can sacrifice yourself. It's called I'll Be, I'll, I'll be Right Behind You. There you yeah. go. See? Ah! In the, in the genre. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> I, I took it out like it's like an advanced move that you can use as an option if you want, but it's not in the basic game. Uh, so you want you can go. I'll be right behind you. Don't worry. You can, I'll be right you behind can have you. A, a section if you want to hurt yourself more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I I think that I need. To, I think that is entirely what I say. Like it's like we need to get out of the blast radius here. I'll throw you out. Don't worry. I can still. Like I can still get us out, and then it's like, no, yeah. what do you like? That's not possible. It's like, no, don't worry, I'll be right behind yeah, you. Some yeah. shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, we'll the, get the, out the safety. meat fiber grapple. Like we see the meat fiber grapple, like fling, uh, yeah, or something like that away from the wreckage. <laughs> uh, I know <laughs> this is just like like ending, like attacking it onto the end, but like. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, bring it. Also, if you're good with that, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll <laughs> if, you, if you're that happy, we want to make it worse. In that, like, oh, let's make it worse. Okay. Here that, like, of all the people um, here, right? Like, I always thought I was competing with Agni. Uh huh. Like, I just wanted yes him to look at me. 
Oh. Oh. oh no! Oh no! So, like, you know, like if I, this is like like words on the battlefield, it's like if we are echoing back to the academy days. It's like I realized yeah. this whole time where like I didn't want you to recognize me uh, as a rival. I wanted you to 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 see me as a a a, a peer and lover. Mm. Oh. It's too late. Or is it too bad? Oh my god. It's just like big like you need to live on. Yeah. Or like like you need to live. You need to um oh my god. go on. Yeah. And it's like, you know, maybe, maybe it is like the whole like, no, don't like, you know. We could have like said this out loud too. I feel like maybe this isn't like entirely a flashback. Like, do yeah. do we want like yeah. our characters to have this moment of like oh, yeah. finally you saying these things out loud and yeah. Maybe I like not reject Cosmo, but I don't. Huh? I think you don't reject. You eject. Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> Why reject someone when you can eject? Them, like, Welcome to anime mecca. <laughs> There uh, we go. Uh, That's a mega dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you were saying Aaron, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Like, like if, if we end up like, like you know, you know how like like the moment can like drag on forever, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so it's just like you know, no, I can't, I can't lose you too, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like I've I've lost Pantheon. I can't lose you too. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. And Agni's like. Uh, it's like, what do you think? Like, you think I can stay here? You think I can sit here and and lose you? You know, like it, this goes both ways, Cosmo. Yeah, I I think then the ejection happens. And then the Cosmo ejection happens. Yeah. Like the controls. Yeah. Right. Um, and and breaks down basically. Oh my god! You're like fl- almost like flying. <laughs> through the yeah. air or something like that, yeah. Um, oh, absolutely breaks down. Damn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have an idea for, like, the last moment. Just, just uh, I think, like, everything fades to, to black, and it's the, I think we see, um, we see Agni, like saying, I'll be I'll be right behind you, right back yeah. in the academy days. And like Cosmo refusing to like, no, but but right. And then like uh I think Kai comes forward with the Agni, did you forget lunch again? And like offers it. Oh to <laughs> right. Yeah. And we see Pantheon ahead, like you know, waving for everybody, like, come on, yeah. we're gonna be late for class. And I think mm. the last thing we see is like the close-up of Agni's face, right? Oh, <laughs> It's it's well I would say like let's let's zoom it out again. Like the last thing we see is like all of us in school, right? And there's like this this hor- like this horrid mirror of like you know maybe oh, and it or, matches or, up, or yeah. maybe it's it's a what could have been, right? Like we were what like oh, sophomores or something we said. Yeah, I think yeah. so. This, and this is like class. yeah. This is like our it's like maybe it's like come on like they was like, come on, guys, we're gonna miss graduation, <gasps> right? That's right. Like, that's right. Let's stop that's fooling around. And it yeah. never happened. That's, like we that's never right, got right. our, our graduation. Uh, oh my god! Uh, missed opportunities. Yeah, this is suddenly one of those like thirty-something moments where like we all remember back the things we missed in high school. That like the the the. the oh the, my god! The lost opportunities. I think we're killing oh. people in chat. <laughs> I think it's. This is this is good. This is peak yep. mech, like emotional. Peak mech skills, sad. <laughs> yeah. Skills, yeah. 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 So, that that is a game ending procedure that I I'm curious for us to do actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though we say like, oh, this this is like the end of season one, but like like th- this is the Daniel Daniel Mon like you know after the the ending song plays right. Uh huh. Like, like, oh yeah, this is the end of the season, and they're like, "Oh, there's a little bit more. Uh, there's a little bit more post credits, right?" Uh huh. Um, like, what's the scene here? Because you have, uh, you get a monument actually. Um, oh. Because you, you, you 
uh, succeeded, right? You seize the day and you got a monument. You 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 change the world. Um, yeah, you change the world permanently. Uh, so each player involved with the monument narrates one thing their pilot changes about the world around them because of the connection to this event. So Pantheon and Kai, you've changed the world. You you get this monument. What what is it? Like they build a monument to to this um, event here at the volcano or somewhere else, right? There's a thing that gets oh. left. Behind. Yeah, um, and just so I. Know- uh, are we just sort of describing like what it looks like physically or like what the sort of significance of, of this? The significance is? of it in, in the world, right? Like you, you, you change the world, right? Like what, what do you want it to look like? Yeah. Ooh, I have an idea unless, unless you do, Sean. No, no, go for it. I'm, I'm all a thousand I years. think, I think this is a monument that builds itself like in a very Cthulhu-esque kind of way where like the energies from the rift and the monsters it created this like cold obsidian obsolete. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can see it spelled, but like I can't remember how to. Cold obsidian monolith? Obelisk? There you go. Obelisk. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Um, and so, like, it's it, it, and if you come close to it, it makes this like horrifying like resonating sound that sounds exactly like that last moment when like the volcano imploded and we hear I, i'm so sorry we hear agni saying I'll, I'll be right i'm right behind you yeah <laughs> like you can hear it if you like listen closely um but yeah so i think that monument uh built itself to to symbolize the change like the rifts can never close again right mm. and and new rifts keep opening up every so often yeah. Yeah. I uh, I don't. Yeah, I love it. That's fantastic. Well, each of you get to narrate something that. that... Oh, we each do. Okay, so mine is more of a um, mine is more of a uh, like a ghost in the machine kind of thing. Um, I'm bringing my uh, my theme song in. Uh, don't you forget about me by the Talking Heads. And what nice, happens nice. is. People keep hearing when they like when they like jack in when they connect up to their mechs, they keep hearing. And by people, I mean Cosmo keeps hearing the haunted voice of of uh, Pantheon uh, saying, "Don't forget about me." Uh, and it's like it's like all the readouts ever always say, "Oh no, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's no there's no communications." But you can't help but like hear it. Uh, you can't help but like hear it uh, as a ghost in, in the machine. So, so what? What is Pantheon still around? I, or, I mean, like, absolutely. fully. Uh, for me, it like totally depends on you know. I, I think if we call this the end, end, then Pantheon got up. If if this was not the end, then Pantheon could still be saved. But if this is the end, end, then I think Pantheon got absorbed into Dark Saber. Along with, with, uh, with her mother, and Ooh. and is now just a <clears throat> sentience, uh, you know, uh, not not completely gone, but no longer human. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I my headcanon was something about the explosion, like the radiation, like it mutates you or you get fused. You yeah, get like some like... new lower body is, is for some reason something I was thinking where it's like, oh, next season you come back and you have like velociraptor legs. Like, I don't yeah, know. If, you if, know what if, I mean? If, like, <laughs> Absolutely. I would, I, if there was a season, absolutely, I would say coming back. But if we're wrapping it up and we're, we're calling it over, then I'm happy for Pantheon. This yeah, just I, I think we're calling it. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. I, we are not going to come back to this. Or are we? I mean, so... mostly, and Aaron, I say this only with love, but whatever answer would make Cosmo feel the most guilty, that is. That is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, so this is the thing, right? Because I have the most blood on my hands, at any time I can introduce complications or frustrations faced by uh, the pilots who won uh, due to how their actions are misrepresented to the public. Yeah. Um, however, it is right. Um. So I, 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 I think the the thing here is the. 
like you your one you like you you changed the the world such that like the the, the risk can never close the kaiju can like come through um but I think this is the the thing that happens is that you get rejected by the other kaiju as well. Oh yeah, as not fully th- theirs, right? Um, like you you did this and like brought brought them to this world. Um, but like they never fully accept you as like one of their own. Um, and like when when because you're assimilated into another one. Like they they recognize Dark Saber, um, they don't recognize you or your. Right. They don't recognize Pantheon or uh, Artemis, right? Like to them, this is all Dark Saber's doing. Right. Right. Yeah, uh, I I totally dig it. We're a weird amalgam that isn't. Yeah, we're living that liminal space, and and we're not can't be accepted by humans. Of course, we're the super we're the horrible villain, but also not accepted by the kaiju. Yeah, so Dark Saber has to kind of go off and d- doesn't yeah. fit among the. Uh, yeah, I dig that. Um, and yeah, for each memorial, each player involved with the memorial narrates one thing that they struggle with as they try to assimilate into the post wall world. Uh, I think did you see Cosmo. I think Cosmo rejects the the the, the vanguard and the military like. Like a resistance group forms, right? Like to 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 still fight back against like the kaiju, um, but Cosmo realizes that like oh they've lost too much in the war, right? Um, and they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight the kaiju anymore after realizing that like hey, um, like there are some people who really like believe in this and like that that you know this this will. This is a new. This is a new world that they're in, and like, uh, yeah, she she just doesn't want. They don't don't want to fight anymore, uh, mm. which causes them to get rejected by like. It's like, oh yeah, you sacrificed your whole squad to like like fail, and then you Ooh. walk away. You're a coward, right? Oh, you're, you're no. coward and, uh, like you're the reason. Like 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 we lost. Um, so they kind of like. Um, at. I think they go back to the obelisk often just to be able to hear Agni's last words. Oh. Um, yeah. And, hey, the players with the least bloods on their hands may at any time introduce a moment of, of grace uh, or connection that a pilot encounters even in their struggles. Uh, oh, yeah. So- Who has the... I don't have any blood. So. You've got the least blood, yeah. I've also gotten rid of my blood. So. Oh, yeah. I've got one so blood, so you too. Do you have get... an idea, Vid? Like, um, I can finally not be horrible, but, you know, if you want to. <laughs> no, I like would it. love... I mean, yeah, I think... Uh... If you if you want to bring like a mo- like a moment of redemption or humanity back to Kai, oh my gosh. I'd, love, yeah. I'd love to see you maybe like pull oh. if you have an idea. Oh, you know, man, we, we have just been saying oh, all gosh. the horrible things. I've just been That's like right. sucker punching each other in the field. Yeah. So, so some like redemptive thing I think would be lovely. Right. So some time has passed, right? Um, yeah. I think when you're I, the oh, this this is so anime, right? Yeah. Um, touch after the after the, yeah. uh, the ending song plays, right? Right. Right. And I think. Um, Right when when Cosmos like gives up to to walk away from the obelisk, I think that's when you like see someone step out from the shadows. <laughs> right? There's a moment where you see the glowing hollow eye, and uh, and and you hear Kai say, "Wait, it's not too late to save Agni." <laughs> right, and then ah! <laughs> and like Kai steps forward and says. I just, I know I don't deserve this, but, and you don't have to forgive me, but I can't save him without you. Love it. That's cool. 
<laughs> That's really good. See, yeah, like so it's the season it's the it's the serious finale, but we're opening ourselves up to a movie. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. Um anime's never over. <laughs> yeah, anime's never end, right? There's Sometimes- always we'll make a manga of of the what follows after this. Yeah. I mean, listen, we're pulling so much from Evangelion. This is we now have movies that are alternate endings to the original right. series. It's fine, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, we, we play Infinite Seas under the same stars. Then <laughs> that's exact, <laughs> exactly. All right. Once again, the Aaron verse it it opens up. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, that's it, no. I guess. Yeah. It, yeah, Aaron, thank you so much for for facilitating this. If you watch this game and you were like, "That looks super rad," um, you should go check out uh, Aaron's Kickstarter for which is running live right now. For Spectres of Rockets, and um, I will. I had the Kickstarter link, but now I'm going to vamp for a second while I go get it again. Um, <laughs> it it is. Uh, you can you can back it right now and um, play it yourself. There we go. Put it in chat now. Uh, anywho, let's all say let's all say good night. It's I'm I'm about to turn into a pumpkin. So I'm Sean <laughs> everywhere at Sean Nittner. Uh, I'm putting on Big Bad Con in, or I'm part of the team putting on Big Bad Con in a month. So if you are in the Bay Area and you want to play, come to a, a fantastic gaming convention with lots of great games and lots of great people, I suggest you check it out. Um, how about you, Vidicha? What's going on with you? Uh, hey, everybody. Yeah, I've been uh, with the Valetti. Um, I uh, don't, actually, I do have something to, uh, if you're. Uh, it is sadly, I think, competing with the dates of Big Bad Con. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, if, fun. yeah, yeah, that's so. Like, so if you're not able to go to the a really fun convention and you're at home and being like, "Well, what do I do when I'm not around all these cool people like I am?" Uh, you can uh, tune in for a stream that my friend and I Nevin do. This is our third year doing it. It's called Buditia's Neverween Screamtacular. It's four nights of horror games from the 28th to the 30th to uh, Halloween um where we're raising funds so it's a it's a charity stream where we play horror games and we raise funds for uh fun texas choice this is our second year raising funds for them and we'd love for you to uh uh come by and stop by so so you know keep that in your calendars if it's free um and and come and uh watch us scare ourselves silly it's not uh tabletop rpgs it is we're playing video games uh but we also uh really love to focus in on like indie horror because we try and get through a lot of games we play a lot of them get very scared and then (laughs) move on to other ones love it i'm so excited about that thomas the train engine spider (laughs) oh my god yeah i think that's on our list it's uh terrible uh as in terrible as in like we because we're both big babies we do this <laughs> for do some this for reason three days. we do this for like four nights oh my um, gosh four nights yeah That's so wild and i'm gonna be alone in my apartment my partner's out of town that weekend too so it's like uh-oh um, <laughs> yeah good times <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Nice. How about you, Ray? What's going on in your world? Hey, everybody. My name is Ray. I was uh, your terrible, terrible anime villain for tonight. Uh, my pronouns go. are he, they, and uh, I. And I'm so unfortunate, an anime villain with a with a reason for being villainous, the worst kind. Uh, speaking of which, you can also check out Apocalypse Keys. <laughs> Where you can play very complicated, messed up characters who are trying their best to save the apocalypse, but might also bring about the apocalypse themselves, maybe. Uh, I'm very happy to be crowdfunding buddies with Spectres of the Brock, but please check out Spectres of the Brock, and we are so close to funding. And uh, I'm really excited to also work on the on the game with Aaron, so it's going to be a super, super great time. So yeah. Yeah, but that's me. And how about you, Aaron? Yeah, so uh, I'm Aaron Lim. Uh, I'm on most places as uh, at Aaron Lime, spelled E-H-R-O-N-L-I-M-E. And yeah, you can go check out Spectres of Rockin' on Kickstarter. Uh, and all the stuff that I do is on uh, itch.io, uh, at, at Aaron Lime as well. Uh, uh, and also I have a newsletter thingy that I do at, at perfect-hole.ghost.io. Um, so yeah, like you, if you want to keep up on like stuff. Uh, I've got other projects after Spectres is done. 
um, like we, we teased it uh, with Infinite Seas under the same stars, that's probably going to be next on the docket um, after, after doing Spectres. But yeah, that's, that's, that's me. Very, very cool. Awesome. Thank you all. And thanks to everybody for hanging out with us. It has been lovely having you uh, in chat, uh, especially Diello Flower. Um, all your comments have been fantastic. Super awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank Woo. you for uh, bringing <laughs> in life uh, into in the game. We will see <laughs> everybody on the next show. Take care, all. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs>